So imagine that Roblox has been publishing really cool technologies and features. And then you're a developer who wants to check more of these features. So you're going to file, open beta features, and then see stuff like the aerodynamics, the dragger quality of life improvements, editable mesh and editable image. And then you scroll down to the grass length customization which just enables customization of terrain grass length in studio. And I already recorded a video on this without my microphone, that's because Windows Update decided to just mess something up with my devices for no apparent reason and I have to redo the whole thing. So hey guys, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, but anyways, I'm going to just generate some terrain and present this update or this feature, so this should be fine. And then I'm just going to fill it with grass. Like so. And you can already see that we have some grass right here. If you don't see the grass, you need to go into the workspace and then terrain and enable the decoration property. So this is the normal grass length. And now what this feature adds is a property under the terrain that's called grass length that you can change from 0.1 to 1. And sadly, we are not able to go past that point. So we can't change the grass length to 3 because it's just going to stay on 1. And that's the maximum that you can get. And you can also see that the volume of the grass changes whenever we decrease or increase the length. There is going to be less patches of grass, the taller it basically is. And that's because like this one strain, let's say, it alone covers more area, so there doesn't need to be any more right there. But it would be cool if Roblox did something like, let's say, allowed us to make like a really long grass, but I'm going to talk about this more later on. Right now I also want to present how this grass is going to look on a wind. So under the workspace, I need to go down to the behavior and the global wind. And under this property, I'm able to change the global wind direction to something like 13 by 6. And now we can see that we have these patches of grass moving, as well as some wind waves being simulated. And the grass length is also going to affect how the whole scene and everything is going to look like. So you can see that this is the really short grass being moved. And I'm just going to gradually increase it. So that's the grass length on the wind. But another thing that we can do is, let's say, add more wind strength to, let's say, 100 by 100 to have this, like, really nice wind field effect. And you can see the waves being simulated kind of clearly on this one. Okay, but let's also see how this grass presents with our character. And it's pretty nice. So it's kind of not that visible right now because of the wind, so I'm just going to tone it down a little to like around this speed, and you can see that the grass is covering about the half of my character. And I'm also able to change the property of the length at runtime. And in first person, if I look straight in a direction, the grass is a little lower than the center of the camera. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed my character a little bit, and that's because of the classic event. I'm back in my bucket era. And I think that this racket is really nice because it makes the character have this like a smiley face like this one. And also thank you guys for the compliments on the community post. I'm glad you guys like it too. And also a bit on the side note, it's really weird having studio at like more than 30 FPS. For me it's currently running at 240, but you can really see this because video is at 60. But like the whole thing is a pretty drastic difference. So yeah, shout out to the Roblox engineer that made that update. But yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, touching grass. Anyways, so it's like good that we are at least getting some features with the grass, but it's kind of still being limited compared to like other game engines. Like in Roblox Studio, we have an option to just have the grass or not with the decoration property, and then we can just change its length. And another thing is the material, where you can change its color to something like, let's say, red. And this one is giving like these really cool crimson vibes, right? But let's say that we wanted to transition a part of this grass into a separate patch that was, for example, green. Like it would just normally be a biome blend. Well, due to Roblox Studio and the materials in general, we are kind of just unable to do that. And this is not only for the grass, but also different materials where we don't have an option to have, let's say, a green grass and a red grass. 
and it would actually be nice to have more customization options, where not only it would allow for more variety in the builds, or like these scenes or whatever, but it would also give you more options to create with. And like I said, it's not only for the grass material, but also the different ones, but I wanted to talk about the grass a little bit more, since hey, they're already making a grass update, so they could possibly add more stuff in the future. And I kind of need to inform you guys about a thing that I wasn't really aware of, and is that some of the things that I hope that Roblox added with the grass update is actually planned, but I give more information about that later. Just wanted to let you know. But anyways, back to the video. And like one really nice thing would be to have, let's say, an option to go somewhere past the threshold with the length, where you could make patches of grass longer for, let's say, something like a horror game, where imagine that you have the player just going over this whole grass field without really being able to see anything, but of course it wouldn't be too much to the point of it being, like, annoying. And another different thing that I was thinking about would be to have something like, you know, a blender's weight paint, where you could for example just paint a section with grass, and then you could change the length of that section to be a certain length, and then a different part to be shorter. Or you could also make a transition between them. Like I said, it would just allow for more creativity, and let's say you had a part of the build where it was just like all overgrown, with grass, with foliage, and a different part being like ruins, and instead of these ruins you would have these blocks with moss and just like a short patch of grass there. Like right now you can't even do this because you have well just grass and just the length and it applies to all of the volumes of the grass that are again the same. So it's nice seeing Roblox just changing stuff a bit like this, like adding a feature to something but like compared to other beta features, to like the material generator, the new audio API, like this stuff brings a lot to the table and here we just have one property. Like, it would be good to just have more settings with a feature like this. Okay, and I've kind of made a little mistake while recording this video because I didn't realize that there was a pause about this that was made, well, seven months ago, saying that they are basically just planning a complete rework where you are gonna be able to change the density, have different legs on grass in different regions, and also different other things. And this feature is actually just a snippet or a preview of the basically final update. And as usual, I'm gonna leave links to everything in the description. And like, I was recording this video previously, right, and I said that it was recorded without microphone, and that happened because of Windows Update. And then after I recorded it again, my power just went out because there was a storm. Where this right here is the file of the corrupted footage that I sadly can't do anything with right now. So I had to record this whole thing twice and I'm kind of forced to leave this video as is. But I will just leave a note at the beginning of this section when I'm just saying like different stuff that it would be cool to add with the grass update. And they've also updated the documentation to mention the grass length right here. So this is the point one and one zero. But yeah, that's gonna be no yapping about grass for today. If you guys have any opinions about this update then you can leave them down below. You can even suggest what would be good to add in the grass features, and for today that's going to be everything. So as usual, I hope you guys had a nice day and see ya.